With red meat, we should take a little care because it is highly inflammatory due to formation of unwanted byproducts. Therefore, we need to restrict the intake of red meat. And a good idea is to eat a lot of vegetables along with the meat. Then we are safe. Fish, on the other hand, is a friendly protein, a white protein. Some fish also contain the omega-3 fat, which is especially good for us. This fat is important for three reasons. First, it would make your heart beat more evenly. Second, the circulating blood will run more fluently. And third, the uptake of nutrients and oxygen into the brain will be much improved. From eating fish, you will get a better memory and a better cognitive function. So, eat fish three times a week. Milk products, they are very much debated today. And they say it is not good for us. Well, the truth is that milk products is a new event in our history. It came around 15,000 years ago, and we are not really adapted. We can get inflammations which affect our metabolism. So you could take a little care and maybe use milk-free alternatives, like milk based on oat or gluten-free bread. For those who like cheese, hard cheese is the better option. Both Parmesan, cheddar, Gruyere and Westerbottom cheese have a strong umami taste. They will give us a good reward and then a good thank you. I am satisfied. Many of us love bread. Both the sight of bread and the smell of bread can be fantastic. And there are good breads, bread with rye in and sourdough, bread which is good because they contain fibers and they give a good bacterial flora. The difficult part is that bread contains little water, so we can easily overeat. The body does not count the slices. You have to count them yourself. This is in contrast to fruits, vegetables and berries, which contain a lot of water, and there you need not count. <laughs> 